What's up, everybody? Coach Anthony here. So you guys all know who I am. But listen, I'm going to get straight to it because I only got 10 minutes here. And I want to get directly to the point of what I am doing this Zoom call for or this video for. So uh, I sent a, I was going through some different messages and even responding to some of you guys right this very second. And here's one thing that I'm seeing a lot in responses is that, quite frankly, there's a big issue still with focus. There's a, still a big, and when I say focus, I'm talking about still uh, you guys somewhat executing the consistency of, you know, say like with nutrition, there's still the four things, the protein, the carb, the veggie, the fat, or even getting enough veggies in, or even, you know, consistency with my workouts or the quote unquote motivation to do, et cetera, et cetera. And so that's what I mean by focus. And so I want to help you guys with that because it's going to take focus to absolutely for us to get exactly to where we want to be with your goal weight with your body and of course maintaining it long term because that's ultimately the goal right right so let's get down to business here so first of all i want to say this and make this statement very very bluntly and very very clearly success is planned for okay success is absolutely planned for it doesn't happen by accident it doesn't happen by you know coincidence or or any of those things it is all on purpose it's all on purpose and so when I say on purpose, what I mean is this, just like if, say, you had a toothache and you wanted, you needed to go to the doctor's office. Well, in many cases, what do we do? We simply schedule a doctor's appointment or a dentist appointment to go fix that issue. If you were to break your leg, right, and you needed to go see a specialist, well, you'd make a, a, a point to go and to make an appointment to go and see that specialist. Well, in the same sense with this journey, if I want to lose weight, lose the belly, tone up the body, you know, all, whatever the goal is, gain muscle. I have to do it with intention. Intention, it means I have to either, I have to, A, I'm going to actually go through the steps specifically, and I'm going to then go through examples and walk through these and action so you can see it play out. Number one, if you don't have a to-do list where you, okay, when things come up, you actually write things down. Or for me, I personally have a spreadsheet that I put it in. That's number one. Write down the things that you have to do. Then everybody on our to-do list. So first of all, if you don't, if you haven't done that, you're already behind the eight ball. Because what's going to happen, that means you're simply relying on your memory or relying on your willpower to do it. And the, quite frankly, our willpower is not going to always be there, nor is our memory always going to be there in terms of trying to remember every small detail every single day all the time. Because you just have so much to remember. Right. You only have, you know, there's even a Bible verse that says a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. I'm going to say it again. That's in James chapter one. It's a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. So that means a man of two minds. Right. So you're thinking about this and I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking about it's much easier to just focus on one thing. OK, so to now. So write things down, number one. And then number two, the focusing on one thing part is actually schedule in the time when you're going to do the thing. Schedule in the time that you're actually going to do the thing, whether that be, you know, go work out or do this or do that. Whatever the task is, do the laundry, clean. You know, now just being blunt, it's not going to go according to plan 100 percent of the time. That's life. But at the same time, more often than not, if you actually do plan it, you will see your life have a much more of a pattern to it, much more of a routine to it. And you're much able you're better to execute. Right. Because if I say, OK, I'm going to meal prep on Sunday or Saturday from this time, excuse me, to this time. Or I'm going to work out from this time to this time. If you don't ever take the time to say it like and write it down, put it on a calendar, not in a planner. Right. Where you just say work out on Wednesday. No, it needs to say I'm going to work out on Wednesday from this time to this time. And I'm going to get up at this time to this time. Let's say if it's a morning workout to execute that. You actually have to take the time to plan it out. It's literally like you're making an appointment with yourself. So if you don't if you don't make the time to take the time, rather to make the appointment with yourself, it's not going to happen. Right. And especially for you guys that are either remote, especially in a case like yours, you have to say, like, if you're working out at home, you know what? I'm going to get up at this time, like write it down on a calendar. If you don't schedule it in, what's going to happen? The alarm is going to go off and you're not going to be motivated to do anything because you didn't actually make a point to actually write it down or put it on a schedule. OK, so you actually have to do the task. If you don't do the task again, you will find yourself struggling with consistency and motivation, all those things. Right. Because when you make that appointment 
with yourself. Again, using the example of people working out at home, for those of you guys that are remote, if you don't make the appointment to do the thing, what's going to happen is, is you're going to allow other things to shift in that. You're just going to, you're quite frankly, you're going to make excuses. Oh, I was this or oh, I was that. Because if you make the appointment, you by default push everything else to the side. Okay, because you'll say to other people, other things that may need you at that time, hey, I'm busy. I've actually scheduled in an appointment, just like you would if you were going to a dentist appointment or a doctor's appointment for your children or something else. No, because you simply can't be in two places at once. If somebody calls you and you had to take your son or daughter to somewhere, you say, no, I can't be here or do that because I have to take them to the doctor or I have to take them to school. Right. So you schedule it in. So now for the last four minutes here, I want to actually walk through exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to actually share my screen here. Let's see here. I want to make sure I got up my right windows here. So I'm going to go to my memo. So let me share that with you guys. Okay, so this is my memo. Okay, this is how I keep up with everybody and everything. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. So I'm going to use, so these are different things that, you know, I have on my seat. They're coaching, business related stuff, personal stuff that I have here, you know, different goals, et cetera, et cetera. So let's just say, what are the tasks here that you see here? Just take the dog to the vet, right? Let's just say that that's the most important task on my list. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to my calendar. So I'm going to just do it this way here. I'm going to go to my calendar and I'm actually going to say, OK, let's say for I'm going to change it to a day view, just a single day. Use today. So let's just say I'm going to go to the doctor. At let's take my dog to the vet rather at 8 p.m. tonight, which I'm not going to do that, obviously, but let's say I was. OK, so I'm going to simply put take dog to the vet. OK. So I'm going to do that from 8 o'clock p.m. to 9 o'clock p.m. Again, this is just strictly an example. So the real life example for you guys would be this. Let's just say it's a Monday. I'm going to clear all this stuff out. So you guys can actually see what I'm talking about here. Let's see here. So for me, this is actually a, a literal, this is me doing the thing here. So the most important thing to me is my relationship with God. Bar none. That is the most important thing in my life. So what I do at 3 a.m. to 3.25 a.m., I'm going to spend some time in the scriptures because that's my MIT, my most important task. Now, if I did not have to train at 5 a.m., after I did my prayer, well, I would get ready and I would actually go and schedule my workout. OK, if I didn't have to train, I wasn't doing this is exactly what I would be doing at that time. After my workout, I was simply, you know what, it's time for me to go home and eat. But I'm going to actually calculate in okay, the drive that it takes to get from the gym to get home. OK, so let's just say it takes you know, 15 minutes. Then when I get home, I'm going to eat breakfast. OK, and after I eat breakfast, I'm going to do, do some reading, OK, stimulate my mind. And then for most people now at 7 o'clock, you know, I'm either, I'm, for many of you guys, you're either, Again, taking kids to work or if you're single, you're probably, you know, getting ready for work, et cetera, et cetera. But again, here's my point is the reason that I can make this list of stuff, my scriptures, my exercise, my faith, my prayer time, get ready, go work out, drive back home, eat breakfast, read a book. And then all this other stuff doesn't mean anything to you guys, but I know exactly what it is. But my point is, is I've actually taken the time to say, you know what? I want my body to look a certain way. I want my my spiritual life to look a certain way. OK, these things are important to me and I've on purpose put it on a schedule. If you don't put it on a schedule and you can look at my entire week and see the same thing, you can see the same thing every day, five days a week. Now, does it always go according to plan? No, it does not. Especially now I have a daughter. But the whole point is more often than not, if I actually take the time to actually make a schedule, I'd say at least 50 to 70 percent, maybe 75 percent of the time it does go according to plan. I get more work done, I become more efficient, and I can stay on track better than if I did when I did not. So the last thing in closing I want to say is this. Again, number one, the first thing that you must do is, again, understand that success is planned for. If you're trying to lose weight, I have to plan for that. 
if I'm trying to get, you know, my, my nutrition, whatever it is, I have to plan for that. So what does that planning step actually look like? One, write down everything. I just take a timer. I actually have a timer here on my computer. That's maybe if you heard it in the background, so I didn't go over. But actually take the time to make myself a to-do list just like I did on a memo. Once I make that to-do list, I say, okay, what's the most important thing on my list? How do you know what's the most important thing? Ask yourself this, what are my goals for this year? What's my goal for the rest of this year, right? It's only two months left anyway. What are my goals for the rest of this year? If that's lose 50 pounds, well, my MIT is spent, okay, I need to schedule in when from what time I'm gonna do that workout, whether it be at home or at the gym. I need to, I know I gotta have my meal prep done because I know I'm gonna get busy and not feel like cooking every day. Right. So I got to schedule in. I'm going to do meal prep for 90 minutes, just like we gave you guys on that sheet from this time to this time. OK, if you're one of the people that say, you know what, I want to, you know, I, I get bored of the same thing every, every two, three days. And so I want to rotate it. Well, then you need to schedule in when you're going to do that second or third day of the week of cooking. I'm going to do it on Tuesday night from seven to eight thirty or five to 7.30 or whatever the time is, but you have to schedule it in. If you don't plan for these things, it is a plan to fail. Not having a plan at all is a plan to fail. So I'm going to take this video. I'm going to upload it to the Facebook group. And I'm going to put it on YouTube as well. And the point, again, I just want to close with this thing is you have to plan for success. It doesn't just you don't just fall into it, okay? So you guys have a great evening. I'll see you guys soon. Take the time, make a list, schedule in when you're going to do it, and then watch yourself just roll to success. We will be challenged on it, but you got to have a plan, all right? See you guys later.